Welcome back. Tuesday, okay, and we're on day eight, okay, March 31st, last day of the month. Monty's 2020-20 series, 20 lessons, 20 days, 20 minutes a lesson, and we're on page 11 and 12 today. Let's do an arc length puzzle, okay? So, we remember, in order to do arc length, we need the circumference, 2 times pi times r, and we only want part of the whole. So, for instance, 90 degrees. We would want 90 of the 360, okay? So, I set it up just like our packet, okay? So, don't forget to keep track. Day 8, the 31st, arc length, okay? We're on page 11 and 12. And if you notice, arc length doesn't take as long as the circumference problems of yesterday. And then the back side is all about a free write, we're taking notes for our daily doodle. Have you done a daily doodle that yet? All right. If you have, share it out. If you haven't, maybe you're willing to share your daily doodle this time. All right. Let's get started. The very first one, radius of 7, but we only want 103 degrees of the 360. All right. Some of you commented that yesterday post was too kind of jumbled you couldn't really read it so we'll make it a little bigger this time all right so the very first thing we want is circumference circumference is 2 times pi times r so 2 for pi I'm just going to use 3.14 because I know some of you don't have a pi button 3.14 okay times r which is 7 but we only want 103 of the 360. All right. Grab our calculator. 2 times 3.14 times 7 times 103 divided by 360. Okay. And we're going to get... Okay, 12.58. Now this is a maze, it's a puzzle. We gotta figure out which direction we're gonna go. Okay, so we got a 12.1 or a 12.6, good job. So we're gonna round this to 12.6, which means we're going down. Okay. Well, if we're going to go down, let's try the second one, okay? Radius of 12, 67 degrees, same idea for the math. 2 times pi times the radius, but we only want 67 of the 360. Okay, again, grab a calculator. Fourteen point zero two. Okay, look at the options. No, can't go down ten point six. Can't go to the right fourteen point seven. We're going to go up in an angle diagonally fourteen point zero. Yes, no, no. So we're going up at an angle, all right? So let's go up diagonally. This one, if you remember a lesson last week where we took radians and turned them into degrees. Now in case you missed that video, on this worksheet, I've already converted them for you, but if you want to practice, remember you take the radians and multiply by degrees and divide out radians. Pi cancels pi. Remember that 180 divided by 6, there's 30 of them, 
and 30 times 5 is 150 degrees. Okay? So, try the third one. Okay? Once you do the third one, are you going to go to the right? You're going to go down. Okay? So, make that decision. So, practicing arc length. All right? And this is Tuesday, day eight. Okay? And finally, we're going to get to the point where we can take two-dimensional math and turn it into 3D math. I hope you enjoy the next week and a half. I've told you to start collecting stuff out of the garbage can, out of your recycle bin, so that we can do some real-world math. This won't take that long, as you saw. It's just 2 times pi times r. Find a piece. Do the puzzle. Hope you enjoy it. On the back, page 12, it's a free write. Have you done a free write? Maybe you can use this free write for one of your assignments in your English classes. Go to those blackboard shells, click on the pacing guide in your English class. Some of you are in English 9, some of you are in English 10. All of your teachers appreciate a free write. Do a free write and either submit it on Blackboard, snap a photo of it, send it to your English teachers, send it to me, or do a daily doodle and share your daily doodle with me. Okay, and then tomorrow we start three-dimensional math. What do I mean by three-dimensional math? How does two-dimensional squares become cubes? How do triangles become pyramids? How do circles become cylinders or spheres? There's rotations, there's stacking, right? So this is what I leave you with. The next week and a half, try to draw and sketch three-dimensional figures. So here's my attempt with a square. How does a square become a cube? See you tomorrow.